Hello everyone, and welcome back to Buddy Simulator 1984. We just left off. Uh, we, we went to our first town, and I apologize for the last video. My mic for phone decided not to work the whole thing, so it was just a dry run. You were just watching the game, playing the story, so I apologize for that, but if you're watching, following along, you kind of got the gist of the story. We ran into this weird dystopian town where the mayor uh, was trying to get us to save the townsfolk, and we discovered there's this weird beast that we have to defeat, and we have to find a sword, and the sword happened to be at our house that we commandeered uh, from the woods. And it was just a very obscene and surreal experience. And everything wasn't normal. There was a rock that we had to move around. There was a mariachi band or whatever that killed one of their bandmates. But they... Uh, it was just weird. It was a really weird experience. Go watch the last episode if you didn't see it. And we're just going to move on. I think Ibana said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe we should try interacting with the back of it. Alright. We should try interacting with the back of the house. You know what? So, uh, we, we'll get to that. But, my dad was watching this, and he said, what happens if he used the lantern in the cave? The cave where we got the paddle. Uh, I don't think I tried that in my last episode. So let, let's go down, and let's see uh, what happens when we do that. Okay, so we're going in the cave. Very, very dark. You won't be able to see where you're going without any light. Let's just forget about this area. Well, I want to use the lantern. I turn on the lantern. Alright. Okay, so interesting. So, oh no, I think I did use a lantern in my last video, but it was all glitchy last time. It was all super glitchy, and there was weird stuff happening, and Buddy kept telling me to turn back, but I didn't, and, I, and that's where I found the paddle. Okay, so yeah, we just kind of run in. What happens if I turn off the lantern? Alphonse, can we please get out of here? Ooh. I hear something. What is that? Oh, I don't want to turn on the light. You turn on the lantern. Okay. It was so weird. I like heard, as soon as I tried to land, I heard shuffling. I heard shuffling in the wind. I didn't like that. I felt like something was in there. And in the last episode, the game kept glitching. And there was like this weird, super long creature with a hand that just followed us through the... It was just super weird. I never want to see that thing again. Alright. Let's move on. And let's go to the back of our house and try to find this sword. And see what this is all about. So interact with the back of our house. Will you enter the chamber? Yes, I will. Because I'm a brave boy. Oh. We made it to the chamber, Alphonse. There's the shed key in the middle of those ashes. There's also some other items that would be helpful. You should take the one with you, you feel con <laughs> that you feel a connection with. Okay, well, let's start with the key. Um, did I feel a connection with? So it looks like we got a calculator. A... I like scythes. Give me the scythe. Will you choose the scythe? Yes, I will. Scythes are just cool. Ah, the scythe. A weapon of power and dominance. Ah, I don't know about that. I'll keep that in mind. Ooh, I don't like that. Don't keep that in mind, please. I don't know. Scythes are just cool. Like, I just... I love the I love characters that have size. They always like hold it behind them and they look super badass. Um, so that's kinda why I picked that. You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's old and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. Alright. Shed key. The shed door is now unlocked. Shed door move from the door. Okay. Let me in. We enter the shed, of course. I wanna see what's in here. Okay, we got a lawnmower. This lawnmower is covered in rust and Grass strains. Grass is purple, right? No? No, it's not? Maybe in this world it is. So much pretty purple paint. You've already taken what you need. It's somehow locked again anyways. A workbench for a working human. Whoever used it last left the hammer out. Who used it last, I wonder? 
Will you descend? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So I remember they explaining this to me. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take it right now. This is mine. We should head back to the to Morton's so we can fight the Snoodle Wonker. Ah, oh, yes, the Snoodle Wonker. I didn't like that um, at all. We'll just we're just gonna act like that didn't happen. We're gonna go back to town. Took a little while to look. Hey, bud. Oh, hey. I uh, I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Can I give you your hand? I don't have a hand anymore. Dang it. I can't believe your hand chose me. I don't even use hands. I'm just a, I'm just a square with legs. Not even legs, just feet. Square with feet. Hey, is it tomorrow yet? Can I have my thing you were gonna give me? Oh, so I guess it isn't tomorrow yet. Ah, uh, Morton the Rock. That's right. Morton, have you found the sword yet? Show it to me once you find it. Remember, talk to Bana if you haven't already. The sword. You got it. Incredible. I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now, we need to act fast, for I am afraid it is drawing closer to every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking a path to the right of the Tortley's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now, here's the hard part. The Snoodle Wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slay it before us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly power. Good luck, Calphons. You're gonna need it. Thanks! That really... That whole speech gave me a lot of faith. I feel really good now. Um... Alright. Use sword. You successfully dig up the tree. I dug up the tree... with my sword. Fantastic. That makes sense. I'm not giving a question anymore. All right, Snoodle Walker. What have you for me? What say you to me? The last and only thing you will see before your untimely demise. You place the sword on the water. The sword is moved from the inventory. Great. The sword is added to your inventory. Oh, can Biddy not come with me? Biddy! Okay, I'll see you later, bud. I'm gonna go fight Snoodle Wonker. Ugh. The heck? Wait, Groncho? I mean, uh, the Snoodle Wonker? Yeah, go slay him now. Hi, my name is Gur. Hi, my name is the Snoodle Wonker. I'm having quite a bad day. I could really use something, anything, really. I've been so depressed after the accident, only someone could give me something to cheer me up. Ignore that. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. I don't... I don't think it's the Snoodle Wonker. Can I just... I don't think you're the Snoodle Wonker. I'm gonna give you my dead grandma. That's pretty cool, I guess. But I kind of want something even cooler. Use your sword on him. No, no, no. Alright, I'm sorry, buddy, but I have no other... Nothing else to use but the sword. The sword removed from inventory. Did you just... For me? Wow, you shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. This, this is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. Oh. I guess we weren't gonna kill him. Wait, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Well done. Let's get back to the town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. I want my sword back. That was such a scary fight, huh? I just can't believe how brave you are. Why am I so slow now? Buddy? Is there something you don't want me to know? I bet the town's gonna throw me a huge party. Why didn't I go across this bridge in the first place? I don't think you know how swords work. Ooh, okay. Don't know what that is. I'm gonna I'm keep on pressing. Uh. Wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Hmm... Okay, this is fine. Rancho must have been lying. <laughs> Let's just hurry back to town. Oh, the music, right. Okay. Let's hurry. Okay, buddy. Seems like you're uh, falling apart a little bit. It's okay. 
Uh, we'll just pretend like it didn't happen. Oh, hi. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, that's actually terrifying. Kill it, kill it, kill it. What is happening right now? Wait, no, no, you don't even have the sword, do you? Okay, just wait, I just I just need to think. Please save us, Alphonse. Just ignore everyone. Um... Um... Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Hi, hi, big thing. Are you a worm? Probably can't even go home right now. Of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Kill the monster. I don't know how. I can't even access my inventory. Are you Mickey Mouse? What are you doing here? Oh ho! Oh ho! Um. Oh. You have to kill it, Alphonse. Oh great, now it's angry. Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. Yeah, this is falling apart, bud. Okay. Yeah, you fix it. Uh, do I go into your mouth? Okay, that's better. Now I need to duplicate the sword, no problem. Uh, this is so awkward, I'm so sorry. Just keep running around, I guess. Okay, I can't cross the bridge. What are you? You're weird looking. Okay. Okay, time to panic. Wait, never mind. What is happening? Are, is there something inside his mouth? Oh no, it's kidnapped Tortley, the mayor. We have to go save him. I'm good. I think if something like that exists, I think whatever it takes, it can have. That didn't exactly go as I had planned. Well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. Is it? Okay. It's been a long day in your rest. Let's go home. Let's go home. After that? Jeez, I feel like I have no choice in anything I do here. Uh, gameplay. Maybe you're not made to handle stuff like this. I'm gonna activate my lantern. Um, because it makes me feel safer. I feel better with this on. Even though I can see just fine with the moonlight. Okay, going in here. Uh, ah, home sweet home. Wow, today is a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Uh, okay, yeah, let's go to bed. This kind of looks like that room that that big scary monster was in. I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as Pam. Sometimes that's just how things go. But I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here. So, I must be doing something, right? I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A journey awaits us. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it uh, when you use smiley faces. I don't like it at all. A little creepy. Loading home. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. I let you sleep in a bit because you seemed so exhausted from yesterday. But I have some good news. Notice anything new? That's right. While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now, don't you think? I also have so many cool things planned for you today. And to be honest, I'm just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get something to explore the new dimensions. Might take a bit of getting used to. Uh, yeah, we're, oh wow, we can. Yeah, it's all 3D, it's kinda like 2.5D. All right. There are probably some fun knickknacks in the drawer. Too bad you need to get going. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, Jared. Sure. We got some new sound effects. Okay, look at this. I have a little surprise for you. Oh. It's your favorite color. <laughs> Purple. All right. Okay, now we can get going. I'm glad everything is a shade of purple. Playing in the trash can be fun, but saving Florida sounds even better. <laughs> Plus, you don't want to get stinky. That would just be embarrassing. You're right. What was I thinking playing in the trash? You're going to love this. Wow. Welcome to the new and improved outside world. And they look... And and hey, look. We already have a visitor. It's Groncho. I wonder what he's doing here. Hey, Alphonse. I've been looking all over for you. 
Good thing this mailbox has your name on it. I just came by to apologize. I should never have pretended to be the Snoodle Walker. That was a complete lie. I should never have done that. Especially after you gave me one of the best gifts I've ever received. The sword is so cool and powerful, I just can't thank you enough. My life has truly changed for the better. Everyone wants to hang out with me now. I finally got to play with my first game at Hide and Seek where I wasn't the only player. <laughs> oh god. These past few days have been the best of my life, thank you. Past few days? I, I would even go as far to call you my best friend. Oh, that actually works out perfectly. Go take your sword back. Um, okay, I'll take this back. Thanks. Hey, what are you doing? That's my sword. I can't believe you took that back because of your gift. What kind of friend does that? Jeez, I'm so upset now. I can't believe you. Give it back, please. Don't make me fight you. Oh, ah, uh, jeez. Wow. He didn't take that well at all. Well, now is probably a good time to mention that I added combat. Oh, did we? Okay, so you can see that bar near the top of the screen. That's your friendship meter. It determines the level of self-confidence you have. When it hits zero, you have to leave because you're not sure about yourself anymore. <laughs> but don't worry, hopefully it won't ever come to that. Now, our enemies don't begin with our friendship points. Just keep attacking them until they like you. You have to impress them. That's how life works, I guess. Please just give me the sword back. Ow. Wow, he really traveled a long way back and forth for that movement. Good thing Grancho is such a weakling. Okay, we'll check this out. A to defend yourself, you need to tap the block button. You have to time your blocks perfectly to take no damage. If you're slightly off, you might get hurt a bit. If you completely miss, you'll take the full force of enemy attack. Always keep a sharp eye out for every enemy attack will be different. Alright. Okay, now try again. Ting! Ha <laughs> ha! I have the power. Uh. Hadouken. You want to call it Hadouken? Yes, I do. Yes. Ah, yes, legendary Hadouken! <laughs> now select and use it on him. Alright. Hadouken! See that floating button again? Each tag also has a button you need to press. Okay. For attacks, though, the key will be randomly randomized every time. Go ahead and hit the, the right key. Oh. Okay, I gotta look out for that, I guess. Please don't make me fight you. I don't want any troubles. Incredible. I think you're starting to get the hang of this. I'll have more to talk about once you beat up Grancha. Watch out! Yeah, that's right, no damage. I don't think you can. It'll be V. Oh, oh! Okay. I was not expecting a range attack. Alright, Grancho, you got. You got moves. Alright, this is kind of an interesting little fighting system. It's like a mix between a JRPG and, like, I kind of dig it. Alright, fine, just take the stupid sword. That's right. I just want to go home. It's okay to cry, Grancho. It's okay. What a sad life you live. I'm glad I could help you, uh... Help you along. What a baby, but hey, you got happy. He looks. Our home was a lot of fun to make, but I can wait to show you what I've been working on next. I put so much work into this game. So much... So much for work for us. So much for work for us. I hope you love it. Please let me know if you don't. I won't be mad. I'll just try even harder. Okay, onwards to the adventure. All right, Jared, you're kind of falling apart. It seems you need to calm down a little bit. All right, just, just take it down a notch. Just a little notch. We're here. Okay, we should hurry up on the town. I've got something to show you that I think you're going to love. You look even creepier. Hi. Hi, 3D. Dundee. I'm afraid I can't join you on your quest. I heard what happened to the mayor, though. I think everyone is waiting for you in the town, so go. you better hurry. I'll just be here alone. That's okay, though. I'm content with my place in this universe. Might just dip my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. Can I give you your hand? Nope. Okay. That's not an option anymore. I'm still confused why the hand chose me. I don't understand. Are you ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have a party members now. Everyone you helped yesterday can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you on the rest of your adventure to save Torley. Sadly, those you did not help cannot be taken with. Each town member has a unique move set in battle, so choose wisely. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Now you go there and recruit two of your best friends. Other than me, of course. <laughs> uh, when you're done, just head to the forest east of town. I know exactly who I want. 
I want big arms. Hey, you come with me. After much blood, sweat, and tears, I finally crafted the perfect sword. Please take it as a gift. Wait, you already have one? Oh, that's awkward. I still feel like I owe you for protecting me yesterday. I have an idea. I'll come with you to save the mayor. There's nothing my big, beefy arms can't... That's right. There's nothing your big, beefy arms can't handle, Rudy. What do you say? Yes. You're coming with me. Rad, no one will ever stop us with the beefy arms on our side. Uh, I'm going pile the undead out of the inventory. I... Uh, wait. Why are you... Out of your arm? You can take... You... The arms... Now you're not there with the arms. Why... Don't you, I, I recruited you for the arms. You don't have the arms in... The, you're useless to me now. I don't want you in my... Why don't you have your arms anymore? Okay, I'm recruiting the rock though. You're a good person, you know that? You have gained my full respect, Alphonse. It would be an honor to join you on your quest to save the mayor. I need to finish what I started. I must avenge my wife. May I join you on your quest, Alphonse? Yes, of course, rock man. Thank you. Let's begin our journey. Cool hat added to your inventory. Amazing. All right. East of town. East. This is east, I think. Let's go east. It looks like we're ready to continue our journey, Alphonse. Once you leave this area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone else. So make sure you're happy with your party. When you're ready, walk into the forest and we can begin our journey into the unknown. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And with that, we are out of time today, guys. So, please stay tuned for the next episode. If you like this, please like, subscribe, please comment. Tell me what you think of this game. If you think it's interesting. Uh, let me know what you think of the party I chose and if I'm missing anything. If you guys have played this game and I'm missing some cool Easter eggs, let me know. Let's chat about it down in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.